So this is a picture of Milton, Rosa Parks, and Dr. Hyde Cornblue. He was similar to his mom. He was a community worker, and he was always there speaking for who he considered the weak. Uh, uh, Milton took action to ensure and, and promote individual rights, and that was one of his trainings that he got in working with uh, uh, Rosa Parks and all. Uh, he was always addressing institutional racism. I admired him for that. He had a mental disability that became apparent as a young adult, probably when he was probably about 24, 25. But in spite of this, he lived his life independently. The tragedy of his death and how it happened, how they circled him and assassinated him, and uh, he had no idea that those policemen would do that to him. turned him over, handcuffed him, and put his foot on his back. And that's in the video. And his blood running down the street like water. And he wasn't a threat. I mean, he had a little pen knife. Why they shot him up 15 times? So to have eight people to stand in front of one human being, And shoot at him four to six times and hit him 14 times. It's, it's been devastating to our family. It was devastating to the community, to everybody. To change those kinds of things that's happening in this community and other communities of the assassinations and murder, it starts at the top. When you have the U.S. government who go in and look at something for four or five months, and then come out and say, well, it wasn't intentional. It has given me a commitment for the little time I have left to work with parents here who their kids have been killed similarly. And justice still has not been served. <laughs>